Alright, hey guys, this is Yata Magnus here. Here playing Ms. Pac-Man. Alright, so we got uh, the four ghosts coming out. Inky was always one of my favorites. Sue is the different one, different than regular Pac-Man. Now, Ms. Pac-Man was kind of like Pac-Man 2. And the story behind it getting, uh, getting developed is actually pretty interesting. There's this company that they would make these uh, unauthorized hacks of arcade machines, kind of like challenge packs that bars and arcades could order to, you know, liven up the games and add new levels, add new challenges, that kind of thing. But this company, they were making a game based on Pac-Man with new mazes, uh, different AI for the ghosts, uh, you know, just kind of an, gave Pac-Man an overhaul. And uh, the company, I believe it's Midway Games, they caught wind of this and, you know, submitted their legal cease and desist kind of thing. And turns out that the company that made it ended up uh, getting hired. Like, they presented the game to Midway and said... Hey, you know, here's the game we made, and they turned it into Ms. Pac-Man. So, it lives on <laughs> kind of a fan brew that got turned into an official sequel. But, anyways, I always thought it was kind of bogus in uh, Wayne's World, the movie Wayne's World. There's this interview at the beginning of the movie with this guy who owns all these uh, arcades. Noah's Arcades, but he jokes about... Uh, them needing a sequel to Pac-Man and all they did is put a bow on her head and that gamers were stupid enough to not know the difference. But in reality, there's a lot of stuff different. Like the fruit will jump around. There's more tunnels to go from like the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. The levels are different. Uh, you know, the sound effects are different. Instead of that munching sound, you've kind of got that ting, 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 you know. But anyways... Uh, Pac-Man's one of those games that, you know, you just want to play. And Ms. Pac-Man, uh, improves on the basics. Regular Pac-Man is very basic. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, beat, beat the high score. 24,000. I'm at one... 11,000. I don't think I'm going to get there, but let's, let's see what I can do. I was doing much better towards the beginning of this video than I am now. Got a little distracted telling you the the backstory of Ms. Pac-Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, the reason I picked Pac-Man for today's episode is that today is Thanksgiving. And uh, Pac-Man is all about eating food. So, I figure, you know, it ties in perfectly. Woo, woo. All right, let's do the next level. Do, do, do. I always liked Pac-Man because it had these neat little, uh, little, uh, cutscenes. Let's see. Alright, blue level. So yeah, it's just a little different, you know, the level design. But I think the original Pac-Man, you just played the same level over and over and over and over. Oh, there I go. Alright. Let's do this. I only need 10,000 points. I can get there. Let's just eat some. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Hey, guys, I'm not really that good at this game, but, uh, you know. Thanks for tuning in. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Peace.